folks, I'm back with another one, finally. Um, I hope you're well, I hope you and your family are doing good, and I hope wherever you are in this world, you are enjoying um, your summer and, you know, let's face it, new found old freedoms. Um, so yeah, certainly, um, it, for me, I've, it's been nice to get out and see friends and family and you know, in a safe way, you know, not gungo, silly, but just be nice to get out and and experience the the old the old stuff that we used to take for granted, really. And I hope that um, yourselves, you are you are sort of enjoying that um, the best you can. Um, so yeah, this one, folks, it's just a a sort of vlog, really. You know, uh, on on a recovery vlog. Um, just about how things have been and and also I think there's a message in there that well I'd like to think that I'm putting a message across that through doing these vlog, vlogs and the things you will hear in these vlogs um, it goes to show that when you're in recovery from addiction that there are obstacles that will arise you know things will happen in your life you will come unstuck at times um, just because we've stopped the addiction or managed to, you know, not take part in 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 an addiction for for some time, whatever that amount of time is, it's obvious to say that it doesn't mean that life will be absolutely hunky dory all the time. Um, and so, in the things that you will possibly um, pick up on what I'm saying, there's there's things that happen, and I think it's important. Um, and it's just, it's one of the reasons why I do these sort of vlogs. It's important at that point when we do it a problem, when we do it a um, you know maybe a mental place where it's not good. It's important that the automatic response isn't just to go and use again. It isn't just to go and get drunk. It isn't just to um, have a gamble, um, and it's certainly not to. To just just go out and and take part in whatever addiction caused you the stress and harm which you you find yourself really on my channel um <clears throat> so yeah in 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 life in you know in my life um I've had happy moments since the last video many happy moments um you know memories created um we've had a little holiday um with with my wife and my my child and you know to take with us as well with the um blog with the the story with Jamie Dyson which you'll see below um he joined us on holiday with his wife as well um yeah that was incredible really because for two reasons many reasons but two that stand out one um it's an holiday and we all need it after the recent um sort of issues that we've had with covid and things um but also to enjoy the times on holiday where we could actually be we in the moment we could enjoy things we could um take part in activities and actually be in the moment without thinking when's my next bet when's my next um way of getting money to get a bet you know just things like that and just not being elsewhere mentally um thinking about addiction and things so it was nice really nice and good to get away and you know that's what holidays bring you know it's a chance to change the scenery and you know it's, it's great and we really really enjoyed it um we did have issues even there you know on the park um, it was a terrible experience on the park, but the holiday in general um, and the way in which I dealt with things on park when we come across those issues, I'd like to think is a lot better than what I would have done if I was gambling. Um, I would have just um, saw that there's problems and run to the hills, um, you know, really trying to get compensation. Um, and we all know where that compensation would have gone. Um, but I dealt with it better than that, you know, and it, it, it turned out, you know, 
we made it a great holiday, even if the the park didn't. So yeah, um, away from that, you know, there has been also, as with my mental health, really not so good times. Um, particularly when we got back off holiday, it was a really testing time. Really, um, I felt that the holiday was everything to us. Um, and we built so much into it in terms of happiness relies on the holiday basically in a roundabout way I know that sounds strange but it was a big thing to look forward to is what I'm getting at and the come down from it hit me hard Um, because it was back to reality and reality for me is depending on how my mental health is, is sometimes unmanageable. And I don't mean that in a disrespectful way, um, you know, to my wife. I've got a wife and a child who honestly bring me so much happiness, but my mental health is such that I struggle with guilt. I've said this before on videos. I struggle with the guilt of what I did in the past. And I have daily reminders. Um, and where we live at the moment because it supported living, as I've mentioned before, we're unable to move. We're literally stuck here because there's an £800 um, private arrears limit on our local council. So you, if you're over £800 in private arrears, um, you cannot jump on the council register. So that prevents us doing that. And then you've got private landlords who won't touch us because of it credit rating basically I messed it up and for me I struggle really really do struggle with the guilt of that because as I say we've got a baby now this where we live we're grateful for a roof over his head but it's not big enough and I don't mean that in sort of a snobbish way it's a really tiny place Um, there's two flights of stairs to uh, three flights of stairs to our you know, get the pram up and things, and it's just really difficult for us to live here. Um, and it's it, it's something that really gets at me because we're literally stuck. Um, if I chose to work, I would become liable for the payment of what the supported living company charges, um, and that is two hundred and sixty four pound per week. A week. Um, that they charge the council housing benefit for us to live here, basically. And for me, we cannot... If I went to work, that would be a lot of my wages just gone straight away um, to the third part, to the supported living company. But that's what it is. You know, we're stuck. It is what it is. I'm trying everything to try and get get us out of here, get us into a into a house. But I'm just facing closed doors all the time. And it's it's down to my past. I don't blame anyone apart from myself. But what it does do is keep that guilt going. It keeps it alive. And it makes me up and down with my mental health. So, again, in those moments, I could return to gambling in a sense that Okay, I've got my barriers in place. I've got Gamstop and I've got, um, you know, no money that I carry around or anything. But I could try to gamble again as an escape, be it, you know, finding £10 on the floor or something, go begging or whatever. You know, I could try those things and try and escape to gambling again. But again, like I said at the start of the video, it's important that, yes, Things won't be always rosy and, and dandy and fine. But also, while ever we are not gambling, while ever we are not taking drugs, getting drunk, partaking in whatever addiction that causes problems, while ever we are not doing those things, we are not making things worse. And it's a cliche, but things, even when we're really on his knees, can only get better. And again, I found the strength now um, as much as it's not an easy recovery for me, I found the strength where I know 
I don't need to relapse. I know that relapsing will cause even more misery for me and my family. And I know that that is just not the answer. And I'm able to look past that. And I hope in future you are too, or you're even in that position already. And if you are, great. So I just, you know, it is a vlog, but I wanted to get that message across as well. You will hit obstacles in your life, you really will. But making it worse by returning to addiction is just not the answer. Maybe in the short term it will, you know, give you an escape. But please don't think it's a long term answer because it really, really isn't. You know, I could sit here and think we've got so much debt, we live in a, you know, tiny, tiny place with no chance of getting the move. One big win will sort that out. But it won't. And I guarantee if I was to find a way to gamble and I won a lot of money, I would want more. I would want even more. Because that's A, the greed in me, but it's also the addict in me that wants to continue that gambling, that wants to win more. It wants... You know, for talking's sake, I could win 20,000. And then, I think 25 would mean I've got £5,000 to play with. And I'll keep 20. And then I will lose the 20. And it's just a vicious cycle, as I always talk about. I just want, my main message, yes, I'm doing a vlog and updating you on how things have been. But also take from it, if you can. Things won't be easy always, but returning to addiction is not the answer. So, yeah, on this then, I'll wrap this vlog up soon, but just away from, um, you know, what I've been doing holiday-wise and things, um, there's been a little bit of a, um, if you like, a, a good thing come out um, of my little bits of things I've been doing in the last few weeks and I'm looking at going into schools to do a, to do talks. Um, I've, had, I've been in touch with a few providers um, who will provide speakers to schools and some encouraging conversations, be it via email. Um, but I'm hoping as the new year starts, the new school year starts, that once, you know, I'm approved and things, I can start to go into schools and talk about addiction and my struggles and hopefully raise awareness to addiction but also in particular gambling addiction because I really think that's something certainly in the UK that needs more awareness. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that really does um, come in and take off. Um, not in a financial sense to, to get paid for it or anything. I've offered to do it for free. Um, but in a sense that I can go in and maybe make a difference to even just one child who may be already showing signs of struggling with gambling or addiction in general. So yeah, maybe that can take off and I can start doing that um, as well as, you know, interviews on other podcasts and radio, you know, and things like that, just to raise the awareness simply. Um, but on that note, if, if anyone, you know, is in touch with a school, you know, part of a school and, and wants to um, have a chat with me about potentially doing a talk, be it virtually or coming in, um, please drop me a, either a comment below or follow me on Twitter and, and send me a DM um, and I'll obviously get back to you. Um, but yeah, I'll wrap this, this vlog up. That's the main things um, I wanted to speak about in this vlog. Um, it is sort of 15, 16 minutes long. I have rambled a little bit. But I haven't I haven't put a video out for a while, so um, you know, I've uh, all that rambling has been stuck in. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it with you, folks, and uh, um, yeah, hopefully, like I said, the message to take out of this things won't always be easy. I've been in a terrible place mentally um, the past couple of weeks. Um, the fog really hit, but while I didn't relapse, I'm not making it worse. Catch you on the next one, folks. Stay safe and have a good week and have a good weekend. Cheers, folks.